Dad always said in his sweaty fits of rage, before he went and became the world's biggest walkabout, fight with your fists and not with your head. That's what he always said, my dad. Never knew what it meant till a flick of the wrist made a whistle in the wind, and I whispered to myself, I deserve more than this, and my brother got banged up for saving a mate's time. But now I'm looking, I'm looking for that something, the hit to the face or the kick to the teeth, because they said that's what I got to do to be like my brother. I do. Done with backing out and being scared of shadows. Rather make mum follow her worry along a trail of smashed car windows. Skim my eyes over it. The leaving present he left before he left for prison. Shimmering, flickering, smiling at me. Catching my eye in the distance. Living on a table beside where I sleep. Some table empty of me. Picture of a 12 year old kid. Winning a winning smile. Just a kid. Stranger. Don't know him. Turn it down on the desk. Don't want to see him no more. Sweating in the dark, getting buzzed before kickoff, getting pumped before heading out that door into the dark. The humming dark, the alive night, where those boys of my future fate are ready for my fight. With a flick of the light, I gave myself a whisper. Nighttime brooding over stuff I gotta do. Stuff they say I gotta do to have mates like them. That whisper trickled through slow, as I felt the sick up my throat. Maybe I can just say no. Knuckles shaking on the doorknob, phone ringing, boys waiting. They wanted me out in the cage to be the food the animals play with in their neon jungle underworld. Crack a slither in the door to poke my head, have a look. Eyes doing talking. Let my head wrap round the severity of the situation standing before me, with hooded boys standing face up on the street right opposite. Snap that door shut, shake my head two ways. Mutter to myself between real tears. I won't be like them. I won't be like them.